Elon Musk announced yesterday that he had raised $6 billion for his linear algebra startup, XAI, and that by the following year, artificial general intelligence would surpass human intelligence. Shortly after, Yan LeCun, the head of Meta's artificial intelligence team, entered the chat to criticize Elon on his own platform, essentially hinting that his forecasts are absurd. Elon clapped back, doubting Yan's knowledge of science. Yan then said, Dog, how about you? I've published 80 technical papers in the last two years. That isn't significant. Elon thought. Yan then said, Well, it's definitely not science if it's not published. This is among the silliest things anyone has ever said, Elon exclaims. That's when Yan offered him the elitist explanation of science, ending one of the most ridiculous arguments between two of the greatest minds in technology ever. Not only do Yan and Elon disagree about what constitutes science, but they also can't agree on what AG's future holds. Yan believes it might never arrive, but Elon argues it's about to happen. AI isn't even real, according to some. It's simply the biggest marketing ruse the linear algebra business has ever pulled off. In addition, we'll examine five current instances of horrifying and amusing errors in linear algebra in today's video. You are watching The Code Report on May 30, 2024. Let's start by discussing Stability AI, which may actually be better called Unstable AI. And that's a shame, because compared to OpenAI and other competitors, it is a considerably more transparent AI company, and they produce the greatest open image models available, such as Stable Diffusion. Although it has raised a lot of money, it has recently been unable to raise additional funds at a $4 billion value, and they are spending a ton of money. Furthermore, the company's CEO and founder recently declared their intention to retire and stated that more centralized AI won't be able to defeat centralized AI. This is the same person who predicted there wouldn't be any programmers in five years. Unfortunately, the amount of money required to train these massive foundation models is in the billions. Stability AI is not like Microsoft, which makes billions of dollars a month selling a mediocre operating system. If it can't figure out how to make a lot more money quickly, it might not survive. This means that you can now use an AI model trained on permissive data to produce code. Most essential, though, is that it comprehends context. It can restructure and explain existing code with ease. It will automatically consider the current Git repository and the context of open files, all of this context can be adjusted. I had to learn the hard way that adding an eighth of a cup of non-toxic glue to the sauce to give it extra tackiness is not a smart idea if you're worried about better oil. But that was Jiminy's infinite wisdom speaking. Furthermore, please trust me when I say that you shouldn't ask Google AI about depression or suicidal thoughts. Fortunately, though, I can share with you a small secret. You can return to the previous version of Google search before it panic implemented artificial intelligence. AI everywhere by going to Google search and adding this UDM 14 URL parameter. With Google search, the only thing to worry about is getting inundated with adverts. In relation to advertisements, Meta, the most infamous data collector on the planet, is leading the AI race. We have some excellent open models from them, such as Llama, but they need a lot of data to train these models, and they want to exploit user data from Facebook and Instagram for that purpose. Since most individuals don't want artificial intelligence to consume their personal information, in true meta-style, they design a policy that gathers data for AI by default and offers a complicated method to opt out of it. To complete this form, which needs a written explanation, you must locate it, fill it out, and then ask for a one-time password before submitting it. They truly don't want you to opt out, but they also want to protect their asses legally. I can assure you that there will be a pointless Senate hearing on this in the coming years. However, our next significant setback involves both the human pin and the rabbiter one. The human pin, which was infamously destroyed by Marcus Brownlee, raised $230 million and developed the device in secret for six years before looking for a fool to invest a billion dollars to acquire the business. You can accomplish the same thing with a phone app, which is why I criticized the worthless rabbiter one a few months ago. However, I was unaware of the extent of this scam until I used the Rabbiter one. I won't reveal the specifics, so watch CoffeeZilla's video instead. It is predicated on fraud, 
This ultimately gets us to GPT-5, the fifth number. To GPT-5, a new frontier model that will, in open as words, bring us to the next level of capabilities on our path to AGI is now being trained. And the reason that comment is so disheartening is because, despite what everyone was assuming a few months ago after Sam Altman's firing, it appears from reading between the lines that AGI has not been realized internally. One of the former board members said this week that San Altman's firing had nothing to do with artificial intelligence, AI, taking over humans. The term degenerative AI isn't one I've heard before, but it sounds like it might refer to situations where AI systems degrade in performance over time. That can happen for various reasons like the data they were trained on becoming outdated or the algorithms not being robust enough to handle real-world complexities. As for the failures of AI technology, it's true that there have been instances where AI systems have made mistakes or failed to perform as expected. These failures can happen for a variety of reasons, including biases in the data they were trained on, unexpected edge cases that weren't accounted for, or limitations in the algorithms themselves. It's essential to recognize these failures and learn from them to improve AI technology going forward. Transparency, accountability, and ongoing research are crucial to addressing these challenges and building AI systems that are more reliable, fair, and trustworthy. Sam Altman was obviously lying before the board. He also assumed leadership of OpenAI's new nine-person safety committee this past week. However, it raises the question of whether the assurances given about AI safety are indeed false. The development of artificial intelligence, AI, has been marked by both significant advancements and notable setbacks. While AI has demonstrated remarkable capabilities in various fields, there have also been high-profile failures and concerns that highlight its limitations and challenges. Here are some of the recent failures and issues surrounding AI technology. While AI holds great promise for transforming numerous aspects of society, these failures and challenges illustrate that the technology is not infallible. Addressing these issues requires ongoing research, ethical considerations, robust regulation, and a cautious approach to deployment. The goal should be to harness the benefits of AI while mitigating its risks and ensuring it serves the broader good of society. Fear fuels the hype machine and makes opportunities for things like regulatory capture and, eventually, greater financial gain possible. Undoubtedly, artificial intelligence is a valuable instrument Yet, the most brilliant trick ever played by linear algebra was fooling people into believing that massive language models possess intelligence. Thank you for viewing this edition of The Code Report. I'll see you in the next one.